Hello and welcome to Perspectives. The whole stress of the budget is economy, money, who to tax, where to get the money from, how to drive the economy. And the other thing is perception of Pakistan. Now, the perception of Pakistan is dependent on who is representing Pakistan. The image that we show to the world. Are we business friendly? Are we, other than the environment of the physicality of Pakistan, the other than the environment of terrorism or the law and order or the lack of infrastructure or lack of energy, that is one representation of Pakistan. But the other representation of Pakistan are the people of Pakistan. How do we project ourselves to the world? So the two aspects I need to talk about today. One, what all can we do to drive economy to make money? Are we going to be stuck with the conventional the doctor, the engineer, the MBA, and every now and then media sciences? Or we keep latching on to these industries which, which rise, they saturate, and then they stop making money. They stop creating employment. Um, there was a time when everybody was an engineer or a doctor. I'm an engineer. If you couldn't do anything else, you would probably become a lawyer or go into a tertiary career. I'm not, please, saying anything bad about lawyers. Many of my friends, no, no offense meant. Um, and then came a wave of MBAs. Citibank came to Pakistan and created a new niche for MBAs. They were just picking up MBAs left, right, and center. Everyone became an MBA. International banks came, private banks came. But the market saturated. Now, there was no demand for MBAs. Then came media. Everybody went into media sciences, mass media, journalism. That saturated. So we have to look for diversified employment and career opportunities and possibilities. Fashion is one industry which covers all the aspects that I've talked about. It creates a master's of Pakistan. It creates an image of Pakistan. It represents Pakistan all over the world in the right light. I'm not saying positive, moderate, no, no, no. The right light, the light which really is Pakistan. The actual beauty, glamour, fashion of Pakistan. So the fashion industry does, does that. And also, it creates money, it creates wealth. It creates images. It gives pleasure, it gives style, it gives the perception of what Pakistan really is. Um, before we introduce my guests, maybe we should take a little short break because some of our guests uh, were running late and they just arrived. So let's take a very, very quick short break and when we come back, we'll introduce our guests. We have photographers, makeup artists, models and fashion designers on the show. Well, let's take a short break. Thanks for staying with us. You're watching Perspectives, talking about the fashion industry, the glamour of it, and not just the business side, but also the fact that the fashion industry creates images and a perception of Pakistan, which is much needed today. It does not create a false image. It creates the real image of Pakistan, what Pakistan is. Not vulgar, not over-liberal, not libertine, but moderate, sensible, and glamorous. My guests on the far right, uh, from the fashion industry, fashion designer, Ms. Samaya, thank you very much for being here. Um, next to her, another fashion designer, Ms. Aisha, thank you very much. I guess you two work together. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to be honest, I, it's the first meeting, I thought you were one person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all confused. Thank you very much for being here. And most uh, do. <laughs> most do, so it's a fair, fair mistake. A uh, very dear friend, a photographer refuses to take my pictures. I wonder why. Mr. Amin Jay, I mean, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Um, another renowned name, fashion designer on my left, Mr. Lela Chito. Lela, thank you very much for coming. Um, makeup is a crucial factor of fashion and the industry. Uh, Ms. Benish Pravesh, makeup artist, thank you very much for being here. And next to her, a model, a young, lovely lady, Ms. Sarah Khan. Sarah, thank you for taking the time out. I mean, I'd like to start with you. Um, You've been in the industry. I, mean, I can't tell that to a lady been there for the longest time. So you just started in this. But you've been there for a long time. You've, well, it's been a while. You've got gray hair. <laughs> uh, some gray hair. Some gray hair. <laughs> Look at you. Look at your strategy. Um, have you th have, do you think the, the, the industry has grown the way it should have? Has it, has it reached its potential? Or has it been held back? Because the past, uh, I would say, 14 years 
Pakistan has alhamdulillah seen an era where there have not been any limitations on what you could do. And you know what I'm talking about. So has the fashion and glamour industry taken its stride yet or not? You see what has happened in the last few years is um, a lot of good things have happened and a lot of bad things have happened. What happens is um, our, our industry hasn't been that developed, but it has to start somewhere. So obviously we make a lot of mistakes as we're developing and that could happen anywhere in the world and that could happen to any industry. So um, I, I, I feel there's a lot of learning to do even now. Um, even now. Even now, even now, because the thing is, our, 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 we live in a big country with a lot of people out here. Yes. Um, and it's growing really fast. It's growing faster than anybody can uh, handle, I feel. So one needs to be careful. One needs to be, like, like, like you mentioned earlier, that it's, uh, you, you called us ambassadors, you called us image makers. Uh, that's a very responsible job. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when, when you're so responsible, you need to take things slow and understand how they are, um, because you, you, you're passing on a message for the whole country. Um, and I, I think it needs to be well planned. But the number of people who are now in the industry would reflect the huge expansion of the business. Well, um, yes, of course. I mean, they would. I mean, from going back to, 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 to Mrs. Kazmi right. and, and Rizwan or yeah. Deepak, and now the, lots of lovely names. Well, so the industry has expanded. Of course, it has. It has. But that's what I'm saying, not necessarily in the, in the best direction. Well, meaning Ooh. to say, okay. Aye, let's just take it right there. <laughs> not in the best direction. No, no, no. Um, oh, come no, on, let me no, don't, don't get me wrong. Well, what I'm saying is that there have been a lot of new people. And, and I'm, I'm, these, these people, for example, sitting on my right right now, they're fairly new in the industry. And, and obviously, uh, I'm, I'm sure they've had tough times struggling into the market. It's not an easy market sure. um, as compared to, you know, a little more senior who's been there in the industry or as compared to Mrs. Kazmi who's been there for a very long time. It takes time to, to sort of be developed in the industry. It takes experience. It, it, you need to sort like of... Like any other industry. Like any other industry, like we spoke earlier. And probably more in this industry, this has a lot of skill and intricacy and, and lot of changing tastes. A lot of pressure <clears throat> and very competitive. You have to be on your toes all the time. Yeah, and then I'm sure they were second that. So have you moved in the right direction, the wrong direction? Are you... Is this uh, what you expected? Actually, I really feel that we are now progressing. Uh, if you see recently in the past year or so, the mall culture has suddenly just developed and yeah, amazingly so and, it, and not very, very yeah. sudden and to see uh, young designers growing and you know having their own stores whether high street or whether it's in a mall I mean it's remarkable from a designer who's just basically home based and suddenly to be exposed to so many people literally mil millions of people within a year I think that's phenomenal and not just Karachi and Lahore little cities like Hyderabad like Multan yeah. I mean, I the think... The sheer number of people is driving that. Of course. And now it's not about fantastic of course. Models, I haven't seen. Um, it, it, the challenges, is this what you expected when you got into the business? Are you getting a fair deal? Do you think the market's unfair, people aren't fair? Uh, no, I think we are getting a fair deal. There's just a lot of competition. That's and fantastic. You, yeah, so uh, you just have to keep up coming with something new all the time. Mm -hmm. That's, it's, it's that's the biggest challenge that we face, I feel. Good competition, bad competition. Very good competition. Competition should always be very healthy. I think you need to take that in your stride. If you don't think competition is healthy, you won't move forward. And then in, in our industry, because it's uh, it, it forces you to be creative. Of course. It forces you to sort of bring new you things. You can't and sustain and you can't last if you're not creative. It's, it's exactly. very simple. Yeah, you just yeah. Either you're good or you're not. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Globally, That's the, the bottom line. Is very batty catty and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> let me take you down. Let me destroy you. Let me get rumors going. Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. I don't. I don't think it's like that. I think everybody like we went to the PFDC just now, and we went from Karachi to Lahore for the Fashion mm -hmm. Week, and people were so helpful to us over there, you know. And why would they let so many people from Karachi come and you know uh, come into Lahore and you know show over there, take a piece of their market? But I don't think so. I think all competition is healthy, and like they said, it's. Uh, it creates uh, a very healthy, positive environment because also it makes you work harder. It mm -hmm. makes you want to create more. It makes you want to work more. You get sharper by mm -hmm. working more. So it's healthy. There's nothing wrong in that. You said that, you know, why would you, you went from Karachi to Lahore and why would they let you take a piece of the market? Now, uh, uh, other than a few names, and, and I'm not aware because I okay. have nothing to accept with my friendships, um, have you all become national brands? If you have, then why would that discussion ever come that are you taking a lower market or Karachi market? Or you haven't expanded to national No, national I, I supply uh, in uh, Karachi and Lahore. So that's my main market. Right. 
So those are the two markets that I'm trying to promote. But generally speaking, the industry itself. Uh, I think so. The industry itself is but, quite but international. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it, isn't it, maybe Deepak is really, and Rizwan is probably really just Karachi based. A lot of people come for them over here. We haven't gone to that scale yet, have we? No. I, I'm not aware, but I hope those two aren't watching it. And no, but I, I, I think well, I'll, I'll just add to what she was saying. I think what has happened in the last, I mean, I think a few years ago, the competition was still there. Yeah. But now, it, in the last few years, it has changed. We welcome people coming from Lahore all the time and vice versa. But there was that little tip a um, few years yeah, ago. And, and, and uh, people may not say it up, up on your face, but, but it was always there. It was very, very... In, in a bad way, if, if the competition was not good. But now it's it's, it's about uh, maturing. Yeah, it, it, I mean, of course the industry is maturing. That's what I was saying. It's taking its time, and uh, and you have to be really creative and bring in new stuff all the time. Otherwise, you know, there's, there's way too much competition. It's Somebody will eat you up. How can you just move out from being a national brand to an international brand? If you have Karachi and Lahore rivalries coming in, yeah. no one says you're from New York or you're from Chicago, you're from LA. You're a USA designer. You're a exactly. European designer. You're a French designer. They don't say you're from Rome and then you're <laughs> from Florence. You, I mean, but I we still have a bit of that. And I think we are getting over that now. Getting over that. Now, yeah. Um, I feel that Pakistanis generally are not so creative or experimental. Um, I myself, uh, I wear a black suit every day, and I wear a white or a blue shirt every day. Uh, I'm not creative. Our cars are typically took a black white. Some of silver. There's no fourth color on our watch. In styling, in glamour, are we more creative? Are we more experimental? I don't see any pink streets. I, I see none of that. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because uh, we usually have uh, all the category which is coming to the salon are mostly the housewife or the uh, category which is um, following the fashion. Uh, in a way that they want, we have a trend of uh, following the certain fashion, yeah, you know. And we just stay on that. Yeah, we stay on that because of the, you know, families and everything. People are, you know, they they don't uh, uh, follow the loud fashion, but mm-hmm. the youth is not like that. The okay. youngsters the generation are, now. yeah, yeah, the youngsters are coming up with mm-hmm. the ideas of putting electric blue. Uh, extensions in the hair or maybe pink extensions in the hair and you know they want uh, some trendy hair colors not just streaks or one color so no I don't think so that is changing yeah that is changing what's the scale of the makeup industry in Pakistan is that a good career for young people looking for alternate opportunities or it's really still just a niche market for my compliments for the glamorous who glamorous themselves. No, no. I've never met a salon owner or, or a makeup artist who's not very glamorous as <laughs> well. So that's Amin and I are completely out of this business. <laughs> no, no, I know Amin. We're yeah, but we're out of this business. This business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, well, um, Sorry, what oh, was the question? Is, 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 there, is, it, is, is, it an, is it a career for young people, young women? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Or is it a career for just a certain kind of people? No, no, Or is no. it a career for the muscles it's to go into cur- this business? It's the career for every creative person who, who wants to uh, learn anything about beauty or, or they want to, uh, you know, pursue the career in makeup. They can because there's a huge market. There's a huge market. There's a huge market just, just by the sheer size of the population. That's what uh, modeling has been one of those careers which uh, became popular and glamorous and then kind of sort of fizzles out. Is that a good career for young girls? Yeah, definitely. Or is it a controversial good. career still? No, it's a good career. Not controversial? No, not at all. Not at all. I think it depends on ourselves. Fair point. Yeah. Uh, but do you think the modeling business has been given a bad name? And do you think the world is seeing our models at par with their models. I mean, are are girls doing work internationally or not yet? They are. We they are. are. We we just no, not for our houses, but other houses for international. Houses. Yeah, yeah, we just went to we just went to Fashion Week in Lahore, and there were these one or two girls who said they are going to New York Fashion Week. Uh, yeah, ah. I guess last week there was a fashion show in London called Pakistan London Fashion Week. But that's a Pakistan London. I'm talking about an international house, a foreign fashion house picking up our girls. Um, is that happening yet? 
I think it's gonna, it's gonna take not some more really. time. Why? Uh, not really. Yeah. Um, why will it take more time? Because um, I, I, I don't think our models are um, at par yet internationally. Yeah. I, I, I think in terms of training. It, it, uh, mm-hmm. Training, because all the professional models that you see out on the ramp and, 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 and on the shows in Milan or Paris, they, 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 they come from modeling schools. They get trained. Um, you know. Whereas here they get trained on the work. Well, I mean, job. yeah, like like most of us do, unfortunately, because we don't have those kind of training schools out out here. But having said that, I mean, models have done really, really well in the last yeah. few years. And when you're talking about it's a, it's a controversial thing, not anymore. I don't think so. Um, they, uh, I think I think the models are doing really well, and and they, uh, I I don't know what you you could have to say about it, but um, in the last few years, I think uh, I've met several lovely uh, people who are doing really, really good work and very consistently, professionally. Um, doing the job. Okay. How experimental are you as your, as your, as your design work? All of you, I'd like to open that because um, it's my wish that, you know, our fashion should become, you know, you shalwar is an Indian fashion. Kurti is an Indian fashion. Uh, there's no Pakistani signature. Uh, no. We get sort of blended into the Indian fashion. Why don't we have you go to Harrods, you go to wherever, and you should have that's Pakistan. No, but now it, the it's changed completely. You go anywhere now, and they know exactly what Pakistani fashion is. It used to be so 15 years ago that they knew no difference between the subcontinental fashion. Exactly. That's what, that's right word, now, yeah. it's not that way. They know very well what Indian fashion is, and they know very well what Pakistani fashion is, and we've become very competitive. Even in India, you go to the you go to New York, you go anywhere. And they know what Pakistani fashion is all about and they're not synonymous. No, they're not synonymous. There is a very big difference. I I think it's a world apart. I actually went to Mumbai in Feb uh, for a fashion showcase and I can't tell you the kind of response they had. It was unbelievable the way they all flocked to see Pakistani clothes. And we are more stylish, uh, aren't and, we? And it's not just... I can say this on state TV. It's not just... Know, know, uh, it's, it's it's not just no. But we are smarter and better looking. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that no, just but be good? Well, it's state TV. You have to be careful. You don't want to offend a neighbor, of course. But, um, uh, I, I don't know if I need to take a break, maybe, or not. Um, uh, but um, what I want to be honest about, when all three of you say, oh, yeah, there's... I have no idea what the difference is between the Indian and Pakistani fashion. I could not tell. And that's my that's my complaint, and that's my question, that we have maybe not established, even if I ask you, and I, I, I would really like to hear if you have the answer to that question, or maybe Dinesh has answered the question, what really is the difference? Because they were the same clothes as we do. They will look better, but they look pretty much like we do. But the design aesthetics are slightly... Uh, different. We are more yeah, subtle, yeah. more understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no, like but same, <laughs> same, but a little different. That doesn't work. No, 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 no. No, but in India, do you see so many shalwars? You don't. You okay, see a lot of churidars. Yeah, That's yeah. Indian fashion. Yeah, okay, shalwar is Pakistani fashion. getting all sensitive. Let me just take a short break <laughs> before it gets out of control. Take a short break. Perspectives. I mean, what's the difference between Indian and Pakistani fashion? If you saw it in the rack, would you be able to tell? Um, yep, you won't. I, 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 I should be able to because I am. Well, I mean, the, thing is, when you saying that, but the reason why I say that is because, for example, when you said that you wouldn't be able to because you, you're not that familiar with the industry as much. Uh, this is something that what we do for, you know, to, to make a living. Yes, that's not just the question. I should be able to tell. Uh, well, I mean, the consumer globally has to be. I'll, 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 I'll give you another example. What has happened in the recent years is, for example, uh, it was always Indian art in the world. All of a sudden, recently, I mean, in the last few years, Pakistani artists have done extremely well. No doubt. And, and, and I mean, again, I don't know if you'd be able to see two paintings and would be able to tell that one's a Pakistani piece of work or you wouldn't be, right? So it's, it'd be the art critics or the gallery owners or the art collectors who would be able to tell. Oh, oh that's really smart. Art criticism and general street fashion are, are two different animals. I should be able to talk about, tell about fashion. Because I do consume fashion. Well, I don't uh, know. Sort of. 
Well, I mean, <laughs> I think more than differentiating, you should be able to just say that they're both at par with each other. That's more important. No, I, I, no, 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 no. Yeah. You, you missed my question. I, we're not at par. We're better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, no, 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 I, I, that's no. not an argument here. No, no, I, no <laughs> and I believe it. I'm not just saying it. Uh, I think they they're becoming more risky and they may be going in the wrong direction. We still have better looking people, and and we have fantastic fashion, and we're much more stylish. And I say that from the bottom of my heart. But the identity, in terms of a global impact, we don't. I think we have we have failed in that area. And what I'm saying is, we have fantastic fashion work happening. Why aren't we creating that impact in our style and our models? We started, haven't we? And it's only been 60 years or so for Pakistan. <laughs> so has it been for them? No, but you okay. know there are very good, strong fashion schools in India yes. for many, many, many years, and okay. we haven't had that in Pakistan. When I started work many years ago, there were hardly any fashion schools. In fact, the girl who was going to school with me in Dubai was the one who started this Asian Institute of mm-hmm. Fashion Design. She went to Paris to study. So that's when it started. That is one of the first ones. You just had the NCA in the hall, and you know, just a few of them. But because because they are churning out so many educated, trained people, and they are. I think it's a branding or a stamping issue. You know? It is. It's not really a school issue. You know? It I is. I really don't know what school you went to or what school you went no, to. No, or what school no, I don't no. Know. All I see is the work that's come out and how we're taking uh, a strong stamp on. I mean, okay. I, I I think what what you're talking about is we we do um, have the same past, yeah, right. It's just, and and so why would we be so different as well? I mean, we our cuisines are different, right? Mm-hmm. When you when you go out in, in London to an Indian restaurant, you will not get Pakistani food or vice versa. Mm-hmm. It's a completely different flavor. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we understand that. Uh, imagine uh, uh, you know some, some a local from London going and and eating, they may not feel that kind of difference. Sure. Um, and I think that's what it is. We do come. I mean, it's the same subcontinent. I mean, yes, we like to differentiate because we see, you know, six years ago we kind of uh, parted ways. Sure. But um, but I I don't see the reason why we need to sort of make a uh, no scream out saying that hey, you know, this was made in in this country yeah, yeah. and this was made in another yeah. country well, as well. Well, my, well. The reason I'm saying is that I don't want to be confused by they have the upper hand on that one in the branding. I'm well, talking I, about the branding. Well, bra- you see, it's a bigger country. We talk when we talk about numbers, uh, and secondly, the media industry over there on that side—it's massive. They have a huge presence out out there in the world, and and it has changed because Pakistanis have started doing they really, really well. They promote their designers. Uh, you know, they use their uh, clothes in the film industry which and everything, humongous. which is like yeah. obviously they have so much more exposure so, and yeah. the backing they get. I mean, there's no comparison. We have, uh, you know, we have fashion weeks here. But uh, unfortunately, they don't get the same kind of impact that Indian fashion weeks do. They're yeah. not marketed. Right. Is it our fault? Is it media's fault? Is it is it who's fault? I think uh, it's it's just uh, not put together. Uh, that's that's a good point. Yeah. You know, but why? Why? Because it's you know there's there's a, the there's a Sadaf which does take an initiative and does you know make an effort. It has fashion weeks and it brings in buyers. But I still feel you know designers showcase their collections and they go back to their stores. Or they just start selling the same collections from their homes or from their stores, and it just doesn't go beyond that at yeah. all. We don't get any international. We don't get in. any international uh, exposure at all. And how are we going to change that? I think that depends on the media. That depends on uh, a lot of factors, not just us. I mean, we can you know make things, we can create things, but we do need someone else to push us forward. Okay. Um, Indian fashion is very highly influenced by Bollywood. The Indian shalwar is very different from Pakistani shalwar. That's Arya Jawed. Miss um, Anisha saying in the UK the bridal couture industry is totally all for Pakistan. People specifically ask for Pakistani designers more. Interesting. I had no idea about that. In my opinion, the only way to become experimental would be to encompass all masses first. Fashion for all, not just the elite. Mm. Actually, yeah. Uh, have we worked on mass fashion? I mean, what is lawn? Sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. There, there you go. Lawn, you're right. Yeah, yeah. lawn is. Lawn is, is it's a huge industry, and not just in Pakistan. We, like yeah. we were talking earlier, we were exporting to uh, countries uh, around us, and uh, it's massive, and it's it's for everybody. I mean, there, there may be a small um, share in, in, in within the lawn, which is really pricey, but but the idea is that it's it's for everybody. Early on, there was a comment: there's not enough photographers in Pakistan. 
Well, yes and no. The thing is, what has happened in the last few years is that uh, the, the photography business has changed. Since we've moved from film to digital, everybody owns a really good camera. Um, and everybody accidentally is taking a good picture as well. Okay. So what has happened is that, that there is an influx of photographers, which I feel is a very good thing. Because uh, you need to make mistakes to sort of learn. Um, and, and, and if you don't have the right schools to get the training, that's the only way to do it. You've got to fall and, and you've got to get up and, and move on. So I, I, I think we're in the kind of um, in-between stage right now where the bubble is going to burst, where there's so many photographers going to come in. Everybody cannot deliver. So everybody is, every client will not go to every photographer. Um, every photographer is posting pictures up on, on, on all social media. Uh, but that doesn't mean, that, that doesn't make them a professional photographer. And that's going to take time. And like we said earlier, I mean, you need to spend enough miles on it. I mean, we keep saying, you know, it's going to take time. You have to start somewhere. Yeah, I, to be honest, we've had 50, 60 years. That's not a small time. And we've had time. So, I mean, are you, are you booked completely? No, not at all. When you, when you said not enough photographers, the reason I'm asking that is there's enough demand. Um, there is a lot of work. There is a lot of work. A lot of work. There is a lot of work, of course. And we need more photographers. And I tell everybody all the time, like, look, there's a lot of students coming my way. I, I, I teach as many people as I can. I assist as many people as I can. For, to get more photographers in the industry. But the thing is, it, it's, being a photographer is, is, is a very responsible job, like we were talking earlier, that if, if, if I take pictures of her uh, or her clothes and, and, and they go out to, let's say, for example, a magazine in Europe, it's my responsibility the way I share that image. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how when people, non-Pakistanis, look at it and say, oh, this is coming from Pakistan. Like, for example, our, our music industry has done really, really well in the last few years. Yeah. Uh, our fine artists have done brilliantly well, very inspiring. And, and likewise, the, the people from the fashion industry are going to do the same. And I think we have made that move. We, yeah. we, the last 10 years have been fabulous for the fashion, yeah. fashion industry. It's yeah. not what it used to be 20, 30, 40 years exactly. ago. The last 10 years have been really, really good. And she mentioned earlier, like all the retail stores, the whole, the, 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 the malls coming up. That's so really that, changing that really the business. Is, that, that's changing the landscape. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I've been complaining to them. I have a complaint from the model and the, and the photographer as well. It, the styling of a photographs, which I don't see too much, all I see is the billboards. Some of them are atrocious uh, on the streets. For long. <laughs> well, probably. Uh, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Let's I, not I take have, names. Yeah. I have limitations on the street. You can say whatever. I have limitations. Um, or even in the in the magazines, the spreads of the street. They're very. Some are creative, but generally they're non-creative. And I've been seeing these pictures since She Magazine in the yeah. late seventies and early, and the Women's Own and. You know, and and uh, Akhbari Jahan and Mag, not much has changed. All we try to do is get a little risque, and then we pull back, and then we get a little vulgar, and then we pull back. No, we don't do that. I think uh, we've actually done a very controversial shoot uh, six months ago. And, and what made it controversial? And uh, it was slightly forward. That was the term that's which the I used we to... We try to become risky we, and vulgar. Yes. And we, but that's and, not controversial. And, and we uh, could not get the shoot published because most of the publications said it's too forward. But they did not say it's too forward. They said it's too... They said it's too forward. But they, they, didn't, <laughs> they didn't have a better word for it. I'm not, I'm not going to defend you on this one. So when I say creative, it has to be creative it within the norms creative. of the society. And, the we have, creative. and we have finally managed to convince one publication and it's going to come out very soon. Uh, so, <laughs> so we look forward to it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have an issue with, with the publications here. Yeah. Um, the, the, the editors have not been producing any good work in such several years. Okay. I can take a picture of you. I can pay a bomb. Oh, like and that you cannot. <laughs> well, I, I could try. <laughs> I could take a half decent picture of you, pay a bomb to the magazine, then put it on the cover. Regardless of, Regardless of who you are and what you wear. Yeah. Right? So that, that is the responsibility that comes in from the, 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 the magazines themselves. They need to take uh, ownership of, of the, the, the content that goes into the magazine. And the yeah. day they do that, that will change the industry yeah. really, really drastically. They are not really conscious of the content that's coming out. Every, yeah. every page in the magazine that you see is paid for. Yeah. And that's, that's not what it used to be in back, back in the day with she and women. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. So how, many, how, how do you Initially change that? Initially, when I used to do beauty shoots or anything, I used to just, you know, she, she people used to call me and they used to ask for the new creative shoot I've done. I used to give them the CD and the shoot will be published in like 15, 20 days or maybe, you know, the coming month issue or whatever. But these days, they don't ask for anything. Even if you go to them, they'll say this amount of the money, um, this much amount of the money you have to pay for the 
you know shoot so you know things were it's different it's initially actually, it's an absolute business but yeah. you can't also blame them because advertising i'm not taking any name yeah. but generally let's be honest someone has to pay for but the publication then, but then if, you if have the responsibility the yeah, the no 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 if, but if you not, and i were doing it but it's not it, it doesn't mean that anybody who's coming without the content you uh, is paying you 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 are printing their stuff and it's not like that in india is it they don't charge no not at all they don't charge no, at all they have for free well well it's 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 yeah they they, they, they have to get the volume so well one is the volume two the editors decide who needs to go into the magazine yeah. there, there's a very there's a team of professionals sitting out there no, i mean i'm going to defend the i'm going to defend the publisher if i'm a publisher right. if my market doesn't have any depth if my market is not going to pay me then i have to do this i'll tell you what the I'm advertising is okay well, I'll, 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 i'll give you an example of the option to uh, like okay, let, me, let me let me just show you another angle of this your mainstream private media it's putting out content which is ridiculous in uh, many a case but you know what who drives it okay i can take one name uh, hero fasil qureshi dear friend he was showing something the other day and i messaged him on twitter in fact i think i said why and he goes bhai marketing have right, forced me yeah so you want to stay on air you're going to do it i'll tell you what on your show right now um, how much advertising do you show this is state television Okay but but you still have you, you can't do more than 12 minutes per hour it's oh, a permanent requirement sure right um, you can do anything i right. wouldn't mean you can do anything well uh, what, what i'm saying is that there is a certain requirement that the content has to pull advertising in Theory, in, yeah. in in magazines um, it should be the similar way so you, you shouldn't be able to do more than 20 or 25% of advertising yeah. right mm-hmm. right now from the front page to the back page mm-hmm. all of it is advertising you know how cheap the advertising is because of <clears throat> just the market is pinned to an extent which do you know how cheap it is to put an ad uh, put a commercial on mainstream tv just because of the competition there's just so many channels you can buy airtime anyway very cheap well they even give you a lot of complimentary airtime because they have to fill the space well uh, so the, i i i i'm not blaming the publisher i'm blaming the consumer but also a magazine costs so much more over here doesn't it There's, it like it's for a pound or two in uk and it's for say 25 or 50 rupees in india well the thing that the and over here over here it's for 300 400 500, 500 rupees yeah. and that, then you know when why? you why the number of uh, copies printed circulation oh, okay okay the, because they the don't have the consumer so much is, is the bottleneck if they not buying creative work from you is the consumer if they're not buying good advertising to the consumer if the consumers consuming bad stuff how would good work sell out like beena said that's what people come and ask for so i can't blame her for not putting red streaks if the consumer thinks just being a mo- model makes her a bad girl she's not a bad girl so but the consumer just creates these perceptions so how do we change those perceptions how do we how do we and this is what i want to talk about how do we become more experimental how do we become more creative all of you I mean, I mean open it completely no it's just um, i think um, you just have to come up with the new ideas and experiments and uh, you know you have to throw your work in the market uh, you know whatever experimental work you're doing like we used to do initially so many experimental shoots but now i have stopped doing experimental shoots Why? because the photographers are not the same uh, you know initially we age <laughs> initially initially there were just four photographers and they were amazing but now if if, if like i ask Jane. anybody any coordinator to you know line up uh, a photographer they'll give me 10 names and i'll get confused and none of them <laughs> know no, their I, job i think that's a bad thing i think that's great that you have an option to work with i mean you've got a much no, bigger menu no but half of them from. doesn't know their job i agree but you don't have to work with everybody Yeah. Right, it's your choice at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Me has going you can put you 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 can put say why he call you for to talk to me. <laughs> That's what he's no, doing here. Yeah, but then see again there's no lack of photographers there's lack of good photographers. That's see, how we should you know phrase it. We right. can't say that there is lack of photographers right. or lack of designers. we are saying there is lack no, of and another uh, point that's is that's the that's that's photographers that's are being selected yeah. no the photographers are also busy in making money like they're doing launch shoots and they're doing so many other commercial shoots that they are not uh, willing to do any uh, experimental shoot because how much are they going to get out of a commercial you know a, a non commercial shoot
you don't make money well, last time you took my photographs was 8 or even if you make money <laughs> you make less money <laughs> uh, i we i keep referring to that it <laughs> it i let me just last time you took a picture of mine i think he lost his sanity trying to make me <laughs> smile <laughs> and i cannot smile so i don't know why but i and then we i think we spent like 4 hours he couldn't make me smile again one picture couldn't do it <laughs> <laughs> so he he has oh refused to take my pictures um uh, and we have a few minutes what more would would you like to say about the industry what are you expecting what are you hoping how the market will mature for you and uh, where do you see you see the business going i think we've all taken a step forward i think uh, especially recently we're all waiting for that change to happen and not just uh, for uh, i think our government but generally for everything we all want change now and think we're all trying to progress and show a different side of pakistan to everyone whether it's uh fashion whether it's commerce anything and i think uh, right now we're all very geared up everyone in this industry will, or we all want to make a difference and with so many fantastic designers coming up photographers beauticians stylists i think we i think we just have so you all primed huh? oh yes yeah. well yeah. we are ready to expand and expand we just want opportunity when you see one opportunity what are you looking for to go international and and what Who, who can help you with what? How, what can the government do? What uh, can the industry do? When the government do? can promote us, take us, we can represent Pakistan uh, through fashion shows, hmm. and uh, uh, we can open up our market for buyers, inter- for international buyers, so they can stock our clothes over there. And for that, we need their help. We can't do that on our own. Okay. I think add? I think a very big uh, part of uh, uh, the government would be to give us some security and some basic necessities like electricity not have so many strikes you know because if we commit on a bigger level to an international market okay we become international and oh. then what we get a lot of orders okay that is we what fashion week is and then when we can't deliver because there's so many issues there's electricity issues there are you know strike issues sure. there is labor issues how do we deal with that so that is just you know a little hindrance that puts us back and says what if i can't you know uh, i think that is the only thing that we so want we, the government to we, do we for us we hold ourselves back so yeah back. we hold ourselves Finish back we should do that there there hardly any beauty school over here is there any government beauty school here no my most morning shows teach you how to do it <laughs> no the morning shows are not <laughs> enough for people wake up in the morning i'm going to get up and get a job in a private tv channel again the only thing which hurts is there's no government school beauty school or a hair school private no private like we have two three two institutes there's one dapplex there's another one pivot point that's about it that's about it and mostly half of the people cannot afford them and people are just learning on the job and just developing on yeah that's what they're doing and that's how we feel uh, you know we uh, face a lot of uh, problems while working with the labor because they don't know their job sure sure How would you? There's uh, no a modeling school as well. You're right, actually. Uh, and you think there's a, there's a need and market for that? Yeah, definitely. You think there's a market for that? Yeah. I mean, John. I think infrastructure. I'll, I'll just add on to what Lara said. Um, we we need the basics because the thing is that there is a lot of creativity. There are a lot of young people wanting to do new work. Everybody's saying so. We just need the basic infrastructure to be able to do it. Um, like she said tomorrow she gets an order to do 10 10000 outfits in a certain amount of time how will she deliver if if there are strikes in the city if there's no electricity um and also i mean the, the whole idea when we talking earlier that if we talking karachi lahore faisalabad sharkur whatever uh, the, the world is not just here right now it, it's it's become really global with the social media and and i think we are very capable to do work anywhere in the world as far as we have the basic infrastructure and i think we will i mean i think we are in all in the right direction a quick question i should ask this earlier i'm short on time but i just want to just throw this question to both of you sides um is our fashion we all we're wearing western clothes is our fashion demanding is the market demanding for more western work friendly clothes yet or not yes yes definitely definitely that is happening yeah they're actually uh, wanting uh, to uh embrace more universal fashion it's would, not about pakistani or very well said or western it's universal very it well should said. be appealing to pakistani and indians Just and europeans yeah exactly yeah, so this a, is something that we have made ourselves yeah it's universal okay yeah. and 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 there is an yeah. increasing demand yes 
and fashion should be easy to wear as well you know the shalwar kameez and dupatta like is not really convenient if you need to go to work you need sure. to wear something which makes you comfortable which you are free in so there should be more fashion which uh, i don't think it's available even internationally because it's so hot and humid over here and we have such good cottons we should you know make fashion which is Uh, a mix of western and eastern at the same time conducive to our weather and to our environment we have a huge market also there one quick question and do answer gently please mm-hmm. you said young people are experimenting electric blues and pinks yeah is there hope for amin and i to try <laughs> something like that maybe a pink streak no not to you amin can <laughs> <laughs> This man is older than I am. He's greyer than I am. And you say he can I can't get like to do. But uh, yeah, he can. We'll talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> you all have a great weekend. Um what I want to add here is fashion is we can do all the talks if we like. We can talk about taking fashion all over the world, but it's not going to happen until we the people of Pakistan take ownership of our own fashion. Until we the people of Pakistan decide how we want to steer. They can just make so much they can present so much we have to start consuming better it's all right i know they'll hate me for it it's okay to copy the designs perfectly all right uh but please do not infringe on copyright laws do not infringe on their work get inspiration from them imitate them wear their stuff present yourself to the world in a more fashionable within the norms of your own society and your own morality Do not and I'm not saying all to that present yourself more beautifully to the world until next time you have a great weekend good night